regional mental health looks different for that third of the population. And that's really where we need to start understanding more about what those issues are in the locations in which people live and work. I guess one of the really important things is not to see everybody in regional Australia as the same. A researcher can always sit on their own in their academic office and have a good idea and do some research. But really with mental health and when we're thinking about people who are vulnerable, we have to work with those people. We really need to understand from their point of view, what will help, when will it help, how will it help? And then we also need to work with service providers who are developing new supports so that we can understand how those services are developed, how they're delivered, do they work, and do they work for the people who they're intending to target. If services aren't available early or people don't know what services they need, then it's more likely that they will access services later. So by the time they arrive at a service, what, whatever the condition is that they're experiencing will be much more chronic and much more difficult to treat. And so the way in which we need to really respond to that is to start to be able to be much more proactive, reaching people early. And then we'll start to understand really why some people are more vulnerable than others. And to me, that's something that's so important to break down that social stigma around vulnerability and resilience and the sorts of traumas that people experience. When we really listen to somebody's story, we can see why people end up how they're in the situations that they're in. And rather than blaming somebody, really working to somebody's strengths. The Regional University Network, which the University of New England is part of, um, put together an idea to, to say, let's do something different in mental health. We came together and looked at how could we do something different, something big. Um, really start addressing some of these challenges of mental health and mental ill health in regional Australia and innovate in different ways so that we can start to do projects that um, on our own we could never have done. The Institute's drawn together some fantastic senior leaders in this area of regional mental health but most excitingly we've also been able to identify early career researchers and mid-career researchers who may not have had these opportunities. They've been working individually and doing great work. Now they can do even better work together.